the way it's the crack on your crack. Hot Wheels crack up cars. Bumper thumper, blind sider, front ender, and top popper. Each sold separately. You can smash him in the side. Why? Bash him in the back, Jack. Yeah. Him off the wall, Paul. Get him in the grill, Bill. Then you can fix him. And move him upside down, clown. And drop him off a cliff, Bill. Yeah. Hot Wheels, Crack Ups, Bumper Thumper, Blind Sider, Front Ender, and Top Opera cars from the Crack Ups collection. Each sold separately, some cars not for use with some sets. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel. Hey guys, and welcome back, as this week I'm going to take a look at the Hot Wheels Crack Ups. Produced by Mattel in 1984, the line of the Hot Wheels Crack Ups seemed like an ingenious and obvious spin on regular Hot Wheels cars. Now when your cars crash into each other, you see the damage of the crash where they cracked up. There were six different crash types available, 36 different cars in all, with two side crash panels, two rear crash panels, along with a front and top crash panel. The crash panels were held in place with a small tab that would spin around to reveal the damage and then you could just reset it and crash them again. There were also three playsets released, the Crack Up's Wipeout set, the Bash and Smash set, and the Crack Up Crash Course as well as a 2-pack that came with a stamper and a crash and tow 4-pack. They were produced up until 1988, being one of Hot Wheels' favorite toy lines of all time, before finally being sent to the junkyard. Alright, so now let's take a look at two of the Hot Wheels Crack Ups cars that I have in my collection. Now, I have to say right off the bat, this is one of my favorite toy lines that I remember playing with when I was growing up. Even if you're not a big fan of Hot Wheels cars or die-cast cars in general, I think with the whole crash and smash feature, it really makes these fun little cars to collect and play with. So the two that I have in my collection here are the Fire Smasher Fire Chief car and the Cruiser Stalker Smasher car. So let's take a look at the Fire Smasher first. And there's a lot of really nice detail with this little car. They're both kind of basic as they just kind of have a really nice uh, dark red paint job on the car. But there's some other little details that really help it to stand out. I like, of course, the logo on the little uh, crack up side that I'll flip over here, where it says Fire Department Chief. I think that's really fun, and the little uh, shadow and the embossing on the side there really makes it look nice. These would all have the uh, black wall tires since they were made in the 80s, so they wouldn't be any uh, red line cars. You have the black tint on all the windows that goes around the side, and you have a really dark red, I think it might be almost uh, black siren light on the top, you have the chrome grill on the front, the same logo on the side, and a very basic bumper on the rear. Now when we go to flip this over and take a look at the uh, underside that shows the stamp, we'll see that it says Mattel 1983, and that's because this is when the mold was from and they wouldn't be released until 1984. Now you can see here on this particular side, on the side smashers, which is what this car is, there's a little gap left so that way it can flip around and can lock into place easily. So when you just tap on it, it flips around and there's a little tab that when you go to repair the damage, that will catch on the underside of the top part of the car and lock into place so you're ready to crash and smash again. Very cool. So now let's take a look at the Stalker Smasher, and this is the Cruiser. So this kind of has your uh, generic 80s look of like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or something like that. But you have some really cool uh, details on here. You have this really neat yellow and black lightning bolt. Uh, you have like the little engine port on the back here. And you have like the little headlights and a license plate and the exhaust on the, the rear that are uh, nicely detailed. Again, all black tinted windows, the black wall uh, tires, the nice little uh, side mirrors, I think, which actually look good. You can see the Cruiser logo a little bit better on this side because the paint isn't as worn away. And now this one's different because this is a front smasher. So with this, it would actually flip around. And then it would look like that. And that's because the hood has a little tab that holds that into place. So uh, they tend to get worn out over the years because the plastic will... Uh, you know, lose its pliability to be able to hold that in place. But both of these seem to still be in really good condition. And uh, this is also uh, 1983. And you got some nice detail on the exhaust and everything underneath. So a very fun little car. So now, let's uh, crash these guys up and see them in action. 
Uh, I will say that I'm going to be kind of gentle with these because uh, they do take paint damage very, very easily. So that's why it's hard to find some of these in good condition. So let's see. Little Pretender Fire Chief is uh, headed to a uh, headed to a fire, and this jerk and his Lamborghinis flying down the road, and bam! Oh man! Well, he's going to be in some trouble. But the guy in the Ferrari, what happened? His car is okay. He survived the crash. And I think that's because this is designed for more of a head-on collision instead of on the side. So now let's do it again, but we'll have a uh, head-on collision and Fire Chief is rushing to the scene of a uh, scene of a fire. And whoop, whoop, they're gonna have to crash again. Oh man, the Lamborghini's totaled. I don't think your insurance is gonna cover that. So yeah, these are these are really, really fun, fun little goofy cars. And I just love that they have that little play action feature with the uh, the whole crash and smash thing. But you can see there's little chips that'll develop on the side, you know, uh, just from even just a couple of crashes. So, you know, in order to keep them looking nice in my collection, I don't generally do that too much. But I think they're really awesome little, uh, little toys and little cars. So I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look today at these awesome Hot Wheels Crack Ups crash and smash cars. And I will see you guys back here next time. Hey guys, if you liked the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.